Christmas. You are the one who was, who is, and who is to come. We bless your name once again for the blessing of Christmas. Father, we pray that you will open our eyes to the opportunities and blessings attached with Christmas in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we pray that you will, you will open our eyes uh, even as we reflect, oh God, uh, on the first Christmas this day in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. In the precious name of Jesus, we have humbly prayed. Amen. 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 Reflecting on Christmas. Reflecting on Christmas. Luke chapter 2 verse 19. The Bible says, But Mary treasured up these things and pondered them in her heart. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. Luke chapter 2 verse 19. Today, I want us to use our sense of imagination and travel back to the first Christmas about 2,000 years ago. I want us to flag up reflection as one of the important lessons of Christmas. When you look at the first Christmas, when it first happened about 2,000 years ago, you appreciate the fact that it was a time of reflection for many people. It was a time of reflection for Joseph. It was a time of reflection for Mary. It was a time for reflection for Herod. It was a time of reflection for the wise men. It was a time of reflection for the shepherd. It was a time of uh, reflection for many people at that time. However, I want us to focus our attention on Mary. It was an important time of reflection for Mary. The Bible says, and Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her earth. That is a powerful statement. And Mary treasured up all these things and pondered in her heart. Mary reflected on many things. For the purpose of today, because of our time, I want us to look at four among the many things that Mary reflected on during the first Christmas. Number one, Mary reflected on the love of God for humankind. Mary reflected on the love of God for humankind. You mean at last God would be reconciled with man. God will be reconciled with humans through the child that was to be born by Mary. No wonder the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. It was a time of reflection for Mary to appreciate the love of God, to reflect on the love of God, that indeed God loves humankind so much. God loves us so much. And as we reflect on this Christmas, this year, I want us to, uh, to also try, like Mary, to reflect on the love of God. As you reflect on this Christmas, are you thinking about the love of God? Do you remember that God loves you so much by allowing his one and only son to come to this world just to die for your sins and my sins? Number two, Mary reflected on the favor of God. Mary reflected on the favor of God. Mary may have read Genesis 
chapter 3, verse 15 and 16, when the Bible was talking about the declaration of God, when God said the seed of the woman will eventually thrash and, and, and bruise the head of the serpent, Mary would have wondered, you mean that seed of the woman that will eventually come to bruise the head of the serpent will be born by me? What a great opportunity. What a favor. It was a time of favor for Mary. She looked at herself and reflected on the, great, the, the greetings of the angel about nine months earlier when she was to be conceived. The angel came and said, Blessed art thou among the women. Blessed art thou amongst the women. What a greeting. Mary was marked for favor in the first Christmas. Mary reflected on the favor of God. Mary remembered that Christmas is all about the favor of God. She reflected on these things. God marked Mary for favor at the first Christmas. And I stand on the authority of the word of God that this season as you celebrate christmas this year god will mark you for favor in the name of jesus christ Amen. blessed shall thou be among the men Amen. blessed shall thou be among the women Amen. blessed shall thou be among the children Amen. blessed shall thou be among the workers Amen. blessed shall thou be among the people that god has created Amen. Mary reflected on the favor of God. This is a season for you and I to reflect on the favor of God. Number three, Mary reflected on the testimonies of others. Mary reflected on the testimonies of others. When you look at the first Christmas, it was loaded with testimonies. Apart from the testimony of Mary about the angelic encounter that she had, we realize the fact that others had testimonies. As Mary was reflecting on her own testimony, she was also reflecting on the testimonies of others. Mary reflected on the testimonies of Joseph. We read that when Joseph realized that J Mary was pregnant. He wanted to just leave her quietly. But Joseph also had an angelic encounter. An angel appeared to him and said, Don't try it. Don't leave Mary your wife because that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. I could imagine that Joseph shared this testimony with Mary. <coughs> and Mary was overwhelmed with that testimony. Even Mary reflected on the testimony of Elizabeth. We read that after some months, uh, when she was conceived, uh, he, uh, she also visited Elizabeth. And there was a unique encounter because the moment they saw each other, even the, 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 the baby in the womb of Elizabeth moved. And Elizabeth realized the fact that, you know what, Mary, my sister, there is something in you that is special. That was a great testimony from Elizabeth. In addition, Mary reflected on the testimony of the shepherd. In the book of Luke chapter 2 from verse 8 through 18, we read that the, the, the shepherd were, they were just looking after their flock when the angel of the Lord appeared to them and said, I have brought a good tidings for you. I brought good tidings for you. I brought good 
news for you. A baby has been born in the city of David. Get off from here. Go quickly. Go to Bethlehem in Judea. You will see a baby wrapped. And that baby is called.